Hi everyone. We're going to write um, each of these uh, repeating decimals as a fraction. We have six problems here and this is the order we're going to go in case you already know how to do some but you just want to look at one you can just kind of slide through it. We're going to use our infinite geometric uh, series sum formula for, to find the fraction portion. So the this is the easy part and the second part I'm going to do are going to look more like this last one here. Okay, so for the first one, we have um, this term, and just recall this is uh, like 0 0.4 plus 0 0.04 0 plus 0 0.004. 0 that would be if you just keep repeating the 4s and you added those up. Okay, so um, this also could be written as 4 over 10 plus 4 over 100. I'm just counting these 1, 2, so I put two zeros plus 4 over 1,000. 1, 2, 3 terms there, so I write it, uh, uh, put three zeros. So anyway, um, my first term is 4 over 10, which is 1 fifth, and my r is 1 tenth, because I keep multiplying um, each term by 1 over 10. Okay, or you could just divide the current term here by the previous term, and you'll get 1 over 10. And I use my formula. And we get 4 tenths divided by 1 minus my r. Now we change it here. This 1 I'm just going to go ahead and write as 10 over 10 because that equals 1. And so that's going to be 4 over 10 divided by 9 over 10. And of course these two uh, numbers cancel out. So my fraction form is 4 over 9. Okay, I'm going to go a little faster on the next ones. So the next one we have is 0 0.51, repeating. So if I wrote this out, this would be um, 0 0.51 plus 0 0.2051 plus 0 0.4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, and so forth, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so this is going to be um, 51 over 100 plus 51 over 10,000. Remember, all you have to do is count how many terms, and that's how many zeros you should have, plus 51 over, we have one, two, three, four, five terms, so I have five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, my first term is 51 over 100. And then for my ratio, I'm just multiplying by one over 100 because we keep adding uh, two zeros to each of the bottoms there. All right, and then I'm going to use my summation formula for infinite series, geometric series, and it's 1 minus 1 over uh, minus r, which is 1 over 100. Then I'm going to go ahead and change this 1 to 100 over 100, because that equals 1. And what we get is 51 over 100 divided by 99 over 100. These two cancel, so my answer is 51 over 99. Okay. And the next one is um, 0 0.370, and I'm going to go ahead and just write this as 370 over 1,000 plus 370 over, and I'm going to add three zeros, so it's going to be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can keep going on, but you get the idea. 
Okay, so basically my first term is 370 over 1,000. And my R is I'm going to just keep multiplying by 1 over 1,000. And then we use our infinite geometric series formula for the summation. And we get 370 over 1,000 over 1 minus 1 over 1,000. And this one's going to turn into um, 1,000 over 1,000. So that gives us 370 over 1,000 divided by 999 over 1,000. That cancels, so my final answer is 370 over 999. Okay, the next one, oops, did I do it? Okay, my next one is um, 6.259. Now, when you have something like this, we're going to just kind of leave, add 6 last. We're going to just take care of this like we already know how to do. So we're going to do 6 plus, and then um, just like we did in the previous video, it's going to be 259 over 1,000 plus 259 over a million plus dot 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 come on dot 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 okay and so my first term is 259 over 1000 and you can put the one there if you want and my R is going to be again like in the previous slide 1 over 1000 and then we're going to add the 6 later. So I'm going to first find the sum of this portion. And I'm going to get 259 over 1 minus R. So that's 1,000 over 1,000 minus 1 over, whoops. Okay, 259 over 1,000. Then it's going to be 1,000 divided by 1,000 minus 1 over 1,000. So 259 over 1,000 over 99 over 1,000. These cancel. So you get 259 over 999 and this is going to be, if you, and then we're going to, don't forget about our 6, we're going to add 6 to that. And use your calculator, you're going to get 6, or you can just reduce this portion, and that's going to be 6 and 7 over 27. Or you can write it as an improper fraction. Okay. The next one we have is uh, pretty simple. We have 0. 0.15 okay repeating so this is going to be 15 over 100 plus 15 over 10,000 plus dot 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 and uh, my A is going to be 15 over 1,000 or 100 and my R is 1 over 100 because we just keep adding two zeros here because we got two terms there. So, this one's pretty s simple. This would be 100 over, this is your 1, minus 1 over 100. And this, uh, um, it's going to be 15 over 100. And this is going to be 99 over 100. Cancel. So my answer is 15 over 99. Now the last one I'm going to do is the kind that's going to be in the next video. So basically we have something like this. So we have 0 0.263, but the only repeating part is the 63. So if I write this out, the 
long way, this is going to be uh, 2, let me write it out the long way. So this is really going to be 2 point, put the zero there, 63 plus, and the next term is just going to be point zero 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 sixty three. 63 you're adding 63 these are the first three terms would be 263 and that's plus 63 and then the next one's going to be the same thing instead of three zeros we have six one two three four five six and then 63 and then we have our dot 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 alright now basically I'm not going to do anything with this part I'm only going to deal with this part and then add this last because you won't get the uh, common ratio if you include this so if I uh, do this part we're going to get my A is 63 over a thousand uh, yeah because we have one uh, I should have done this this should be one okay so this should just be one and this one's just going to be let me fix this this is going to be point one two three four sixty three so it's going to be sixty three over a thousand let me just write it out the other way. I'm sorry. Let me go faster here. So basically we have, um, this is going to be um, 63 over 1,000 plus 63 over 100,000. If I just deal with this, and I'm going to be adding this guy later. And then when you get this, you're going to get uh, A is 63 over 1,000. And then my R is just going to be 1 over 100. So we're just adding two zeros here, those two zeros. So we get um, 63 over 1,000 divided by 1, 000, uh, 100 over 100 minus 100 over 100. Um, these two cancel here. Um, not really. It doesn't cancel. Sorry. So this is going to be 63 over 1,000. And this is going to be 99 over 100. Now we take care of this. This is going to be 63 over 990 because when this goes into this uh, 10 times and you just multiply those two and then we're just going to add our 0 0.263 and you put that in the calculator and you're going to get 29 over 110 okay the next um, set I'm going to do is just these kind right here and it's going to be called part 2 Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.